the fuck are, what the what the fuck are snap minis okay fuck i thought the same thing okay quick let me fix the honey cam real quick That has been such a fucking busy day. Oh, good enough. Okay, cool. What I need right now are your ideas. Oh, this shirt is fucking destroyed. It is not the chroma key. No, no, no. No, fuck it. Let's just, let's just get here. So at 4-1 with this list, a couple observations. Fall from favor is bad. It is bad, bad, bad. Don't play it. It's bad. Uh, the reason it's bad is what I did not realize. I thought this worked like Palace Jailer, but the specific text, the wording on the card, makes it so that it's not, right? So Palace Jailer, the way it works is if you kill the Palace Jailer, the creature doesn't come back. Fall from favor does work that way, though. So if you kill the fall from favor... On like the end step, your creature will untap. And the specific text here that makes a difference is where it says enchanted creature doesn't untap. So if you kill it, the creature is no longer enchanted. Therefore, it will untap. Play limited and I would know. I mean, it's it's also just like read the fucking card and I'd know too, right? Like for some reason, I just like, I mean, that's actually how I figured it out. I, I, I tried it out um, and uh, it just, it, it didn't die. Uh... When I actually did the commander thing, I actually played one of those stupid commander drafts. Biggest mistake. I should not have played that. Anyways, besides the point. Um, What is the point, though? So I went 4-1 with this list. I'm not exactly interested in playing this. I kind of want to play some sort of, like, enchantment deck. How many points did I get? I dropped in halfway through the first round. I don't have the fucking patience for that shit. Uh-uh. Not me. Um, so I was thinking like, okay, putting these aside. Uh, ignore this. Hold reaching, ignore this. Somebody, oh, Bruno sent me this list. I don't know if I like this list too much. It's got a bit too much. Um, I feel like I wanna play Carpet of Flowers no matter what I do. Just give me the carpet of flowers. Took five hours drafting and three matches. Does it really only have high EV? Because I, I did draft a couple times just for value. I don't think I broke even. Have I considered landfall? Wait, what the fuck? That is true. It does do that. Not always guaranteed to hit the sweet rate that you want, but... Yo! Alright, so. Let's make a new fucking deck. Uh, sure. And what do I want to be doing in this deck, right? I don't know. I want to play two of, some of these. Is this card really... Has anyone tried this? foil when it etbs you become the monarch at the beginning of your upkeep create a 1-1 one, one spirit token with flying if you're the monarch create a 4-4 four, four instead so here's what i was thinking right doesn't this card look work really well with this You broke even? You pulled a Hull Breacher? Holy moly. Wait, how do you... Oh, you must have done multiple drafts then. That's so sweet. That's like 100 tickets right there. You think this has too high of a CMC? 
This is like the only one that actually like protects the monarchy though, right? And if I played these, I couldn't play anything else. Contamination? I don't even know what that card is. Contamination. Sacrifice it. Oh, uh, this is the Blood Moon. The Blood Moon effect. I think I remember seeing this card played against me. What was it? There was like the Revolt card from one of the older sets that makes like a one-one if something happens. That's a good point. Hidden Stockpile. That's the card that I'm thinking about. Yeah, I was thinking this could be pretty good with the the Monarch cards. Um, I don't know. The other card to perhaps contemplate is Island Sanctuary. This card's not too bad either. I don't really want to play Vintage right now. I thought about playing it, but then I decided I wanted to like figure out some Legacy stuff right now instead. Seems like it would be pretty sweet. Plus, Justin, I think, already did some something with that deck-ish. Something along that deck. It seems kind of cool, right? But then what I also want to do is like play like... Okay, wait one sec. So Utopia Sprawl... Has to enchant a forest? What? Oh my god, that's cringe. And then this has to... This can target any land, but taps it taps only for green. Uh, I just get the feeling that the mana on this kind of deck would be... Yeah, I, I think I saw Tim Akbenar post a list like that too. I, I don't think I want to do that. Rest in Peace and Field doesn't seem very good. How does that work? Court of Cunning and Rest in Peace versus Emrakul? This is good mana ramp. Basically what I'm trying to figure out is how we can ramp, right? Brainstorm. Mm. I don't know. I'm just kind of like spitballing here. Right? And then... So what solitary confinement says prevent all damage that would be dealt to me. Okay. Five ed play is just mono white enchantress stompy. Learn from Reeple Pug. And we're already at 31 cards. I have a feeling that the mana base for this deck would just be hideous, right? How are we winning? Oh, with Court of Cunning. Mm, what's that other card? This one seems to ring a bell. This card is just bad, right? But we're already at 35 cards. Probably because we have 8 mana dorks. <laughs> I do like... Maybe we don't need 6 quarts. That's a lot. I don't know. The idea of Sterling Grove doesn't seem bad to me. Isn't that what the old deck used to play? Yo, what up, Goblin? How's it going? This is going to be a very short stream, by the way. I don't. I definitely do not intend to stream too long since I already did like three or four, three hours of uh, due diligence today. Shark Typhoon.
Oh, you think you know the half of it. You think I'm you think this is addiction to sevens. Imagine playing it with Ren and Six. Wait, I think I'm onto something. Fuck that. Hold up. Delete. Why don't we take this deck and add enchantments to it? Right? That seems super sweet. I think. So I need to... figure out where my headspace at is at here. I remember the counterbalances were pretty bad. So many cards. Sorts to plowshares. Supreme Verdict. I don't even know how I feel about the back to basics. We'll just put them on the side for now. I did remember liking Lay Claim a decent chunk. I like this version better than the 60 card version. I want to play Court and Wait. No, I think the way... What I found out when I was playing Miracles is that Court actually wasn't that great. Um... Like, it was passable. Okay, so... Actually, what I should do is just shrink this, right? It's a little bit smaller now, I know, but uh, hopefully that'll be fine. So we have those... And what have I cut so far? How did I get all the space? Oh, I cut the back to basics. <sighs> okay. Self mill for the turbo court? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> what up, Tom? Hello. Um, something like this. The problem is what? What is the problem? Oh, I guess Court of Cutting, Rest in Peace really hoses this deck, right? We have to cut three cards. We have two Mystic Sanctuaries. I could cut like one Replenish. Um, I, I don't know what else to cut. Maybe like one Court of Grace. This is the Mill Court, yeah. Fuck it, we'll just cut all the Court of Graces. How about that? And then, how do we have so much space in the sideboard? Oh, because I cut the mentors. Okay. One grace, three cunning. Mm, I kind of want to try as many of these as I possibly can first. And then add the quarter. I mean, actually, you know what? Let's, let's do that. We'll do that just so that we can force ourselves to test new cards. Not in maximum capacity. I guess we don't even need all the lay claims. Could cut one lay claim for another one of these. This is the one where it seems like it makes sense to play Fall from Favor, though. Hey, Strifo, thank you for the raid. 
How's it going? Uh, short stream, just wrapping up the day, making sure I get clock in my hours. It's, what, 11? Uh, it seems tough, but... Dovin's Veto. There's a lot of removal in this list. Why do I want Seal of Cleansing? I don't know. You're dying without sleep? Oh my goodness. Please, come back. Wait, I caught a Replenish? Uh, okay, in that case, bring this back in. YOLO, fuck it, let's just get some games in. Cut one of those. I don't even like Back to Basics right now. What is it good against? Something like Post? Fuck it. If we play against Post, I'll just concede. Uh, do we have any counterplay to Doomsday? I suppose that's what this is. We have... The combo board needs to be much better. Not really sure what Yorion accomplishes in this list, but whatever. Maybe cut this one? I mean, it cycles. Oh, fuck it. You know what I'll do? I'll 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 just play some Hall Breachers. I want to play Hall Breacher in every deck, right? So we'll just put two of these in, cut a Fluster Storm and uh sure, just cut two Fluster Storms. Bada bing bada boom. Okay. Torpor Orb maybe. Torpor Orb is very good right now. I think Torpor Orb is insanely good right now. Play one Echo and one LED. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is... Oh, I need to find a Court of Grace. I don't think Card Hoarder will have it. Mission Cards to wish list, wish list. Export. Okay. Where'd it go? I've already lost the list. Shit. Yorion replenish. Pretty sure I can just buy one from a bot. I think I remember we went four and one when I played this deck last time, and it didn't feel too bad. Dude, I, I, I don't know. Hold Breachers are so fucking expensive right now. I get the feeling that I'm supposed to just sell mine. That'd be like a sweet 300 bucks just in the pocket. Uh, I have another idea that I want to talk to you guys about while I wait. All right, well, I guess there's no waiting. Uh-oh. How much is this? Four tickets? <gasps> 10 tickets? I get the feeling the price of this card is going to drop, though, but... Whatever. They're very expensive. It was 60 tickets yesterday morning, and then it dropped, and then it spiked. So the other idea that I wanted to talk to you guys about was this. Okay. Bless up. Sorry. If 
feel like I haven't played a legacy challenge on a Sunday in a long while. What the hell? What's going on here? Magical nine. I want to play a combo deck that has four hull breachers and four in tomb so that I can tomb echo of eons and then just hull breach my opponent. What do you guys think about that? We die to elves round one. No, don't say that. Yeah, I could even be like blue, black Narsa. That wouldn't be too bad. So here's the thing. Well, this would be the start. I, I don't know what else I would want to play in it, but I think... Oh, wait, what? I think there's like something powerful here. These two cards, all I can say is that this, these two cards are very powerful. Just Karn Echo without the Karn, but I don't want to play like crap. Like, I don't know if I want to play... I don't know. Maybe I do want to play, like, uh, Ancient Tombs and stuff like that. But then you lose that on, like, the Brainstorms and the Ponders. If I play Lion's Eye Diamond, I need a lot of these. The thought process is I just have one Echo of Eons, and I just, like, assemble these two together. In a World Gorger Shell? Okay. That's interesting. Is there a world where a blue black reanimator shell exists where our backup plan is to just cast this card? Um a blue black Yeah. But then how do you cast the Echo of Eons, right? Against hate? Okay. This is a good one. Got a lot of stuff going on here. I think we'll just lead on Island Astrolabe. And I guess what what do we want? We want to find Replenish. Can we play Arcane Denial? I don't think those kind of cards are actually good. Like they look good when when it works, but Hull Breacher still dies a bunch, right? Like maybe if I had like Unearth. You know what I mean? Hull Breacher doesn't die? Oh, okay. Wait, I'm taking notes here. <laughs> uh, choose this. I hope I have matching islands. Yikes. I think this should be fine. A lot of cycling here. A four cavern hull breacher list? Wait a minute. Oh my god. <sighs> Can you send me the link, Janky? Maybe we can just get these lay claims in the graveyard and then win. It's kind of kind of fucking tilt. Bed would have scooped by now, that's true. Trinosphere? Okay. That makes me a little bit happier. Wow. What is this? Lay claim does not use the stack, correct? That's why, well, it's weird. When you buy back lay claim using re replenish, a lot of weird things happen, right? Hopefully this fucks them up too. Yeah, I know, I know, right? I literally said, I literally said, one second. Uh, 
pass the turn. We'll see what happens here. I think I'm supposed to just cycle a lay claim. The fact that we're only playing three replenishes is really going to fuck us over here. Wait, what rule? Oh, the 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 thing rule. What the fuck? What is this deck? Mud? I don't think they're going to have another thing here, though, so we'll just, pe like, F6, I guess. Ooh, okay. That one could be good. Kind of risky, but... It's just a weird combination of cards here, right? They didn't play a three drop last turn. They played this. This doesn't make sense to me. The sphere. You wouldn't play sphere of resistance in mud, would you? And I don't know. Golo stacks. Yeah, it could be that too. Not another one. Revoker. All right, that makes this a little bit worse. By that, I mean it makes it a lot worse. I mean, I still want to get something like Arkham's Astral. Not Arkham's Astral. They're going to name the Astral with the Revoker. Oh, they named Teferi Time Raveler. What? Interesting. Huh. Okay, down to pass. That was a sicko draw. Yeah, Shark Typhoon actually works really well with the uh, the stuff, with the sauce. Hopefully we don't get punished here, but we can get another island. Actually, I should probably just, whatever, yeah. Okay. I'll take that. Nice cost reduction. And then just block. We have one, two, three, four. Huh, okay. Pretty sure what we want to do is just cycle these lay claims though. What is this? Yikes. It's kind of a clock. So spells cast two more. At least the cycling doesn't get affected by this shit, though. And then we can find them maybe like swords to plowshares. See what happens here. Except astrolabe. Oh, that's true. Well, it still gets up by this, but not by that. Do we have any other artifacts in our deck? Ancient tomb. Okay. We have a lot of basics. This is not going to do too much. Unless they have like a way to like deny the surge into lands and replenishes. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm tight with that too. What is this? Another lodestone golem? Chalice on stone coil serpent. Uh oh. I'll cycle here. Supreme verdict. Okay. Resolves. Okay. Um, they don't have. Oh, they have Ghost Quarter? That doesn't. Do it, does it? Okay. And then next turn we can cast Supreme Verdict. How many planes do we have in our deck? Three, okay. So we take five, ten, go down to three, and then we get blisted out of the game. That would really suck, but I feel like their deck definitely has ballista in it, right? And like maybe Arcbound Ravager. This is a really good card though. Inventor's Fair. Oh no. I don't want those cards on top of my deck.
think I'm just actually Dobbs. I need them to make a mistake here. One, two, three, four. I don't think they will, though. Against Golo Shops, do I need your expertise? They seem to be missing one critical card here. One very, very important card. We just took too much damage. Okay. I think I want the path to exiles, but not the terminuses. I mean, terminus doesn't even seem that bad, does it? Hmm. They probably don't have Emrakul in their deck. Where's the beep beep? You think Terminus is better than the Verdict against the Spheres? I guess it's like a nice side grade. Don't necessarily know how good this card is. How good is Force of Negation in this kind of matchup? Doesn't stop the revokers, doesn't stop, but it stops like other things that matter. Would I board in Dovin's vetoes? If I'm boarding in Dovin's vetoes, then force negation has to be good. Maybe I'm just not supposed to do that. But terminus just doesn't really sit well with me. It's not like it's not so much that we need to cast ah, it's probably better. There's so much single target removal that I probably shouldn't be worried. Oops. I definitely do regret not having the other replenish there though. I wouldn't mind having more counter magic. And then just like cut some of this stuff. Actually, standstill doesn't seem that good in this matchup either. Yeah, I think I'm happy with cutting this. How do I feel about the lay claim though? This one seems really strong with the replenish. I'm going to cut one more card. Court of Grace is probably bad. But I kind of want to not cut it because I want to test it. All right, whatever. Playable. They basically can't beat turn two standstill. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, this is the matchup where I would definitely bring in my ba back to basics. Or they were in the main deck beforehand, right? So it's kind of cringe that we uh, shuffled them away, but... Real question is, do we counter something like a... What is it called? What is that card called? Do we counter something like a Chalice or Sphere here? Probably. Do we? I 
think I will in case they play like a lodestone or some shit turn two. You wanted to pitch the veto? Oh, that's interesting. That does make some sense here. Though I just wanted to keep the veto for something scary, like uh, another sphere or something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, right? The ones will be good on removal. We do have cards like cast out, but... Oh, no. Yep. <sighs> I wish I hadn't seen that. It's the one of two, right? Which is kind of pog. Maybe we just get, maybe we get there. Just six mana. Okay. I can't even add the Yorion here. Maybe next turn if they like if we use this, then we'll be fine. Oh, this has protection from Yorion too, right? That's so filthy. It's kind of cool actually. What I really want is swords to plowshares. That would make me happy. Okay. Okay, what I really want is uh, I don't even know. I got Caracas, sure. I'm just gonna cycle this now. That's very good. Okay. I call more cards than anyone else. That's true. I mean, you got you got to if you don't try, then you can't scry. I just, meh. Eh. Not really. Oh, she's twitching. Look at her legs. Look at her feet. Okay. Please don't fucking play anything. Don't play a fucking creature. Please. Please, sir. Fuck. No, that's so bad. Maybe they named Teferi again. I don't think they will. Yep. Pretty sure we're just dead. We'll take four and then six. What a dumb game. Okay, cool. Next. Removal didn't pan out there, did it? We couldn't cast that court even if we wanted to. Also, our mana base got fucked as well. Hmm. I, I did do the mana traders coverage today. It was actually a lot of fun. I think I did it. Oh my gosh, she's, she's getting cozy. Um. I know. Uh, what was I going to say? I think I did a pretty good job today. Um, not, maybe not perfect, 
but um, good, you know. Hey, that's true. Un z z z. Getting erase our mind of getting dunked by post. True. Oh man, how was I doing it before with the monarchy? Maybe like this is just not enough. The uh Maybe it's just not enough. So I'll just dump all these cards here. The problem with the card like Solitary Confinement is that like, I think it gets Abrupt Decayed and I really don't like that. I think I'm supposed to mull this. Bad mana. This is fine. This is nice. When we have all this. Okay. Probably won't be able to keep up the uh, Court of Cunning here. Just doomed to fail. Yeah, I could see that. Oh, shit. The other deck that I want to try is that whack-ass uh, red-white deck. Our graveyard hate is certainly lacking. I mean, we have these and hull breachers for Gristlebrand. That's not too bad. Predictions when? Um, maybe if Ved's awake. It's it's hard to do predictions and. Oh, Kogak. Okay. Stansel doesn't seem very good against Hogak. Terminus does though. It looks so silly, I agree. Hard to do tradition. Yes, exactly. Mm, Court of Cunning is also not good in this matchup, yeah. I don't know, maybe you just go eight dorks and then play like four Cunning Wishes a Court of Cunning and then four Okos or like three Okos and like two Uros and hope your birds just never die. Jesus Christ. That's bad. That's not that bad. Just go ahead and cycle this right now. I wonder if our seven would have been good enough then. I don't know if I'm happy to draw that card or not. Probably not because they're just going to name it with the Cabal Therapy, right? Why do I need uh, Rip or Ley Line? How did the tournament wind up? I think it was pretty good.
kind of an aggressive force of will here, but the blood gas is kind of like it. The recursion with the blood gas makes me upset. I'm just also not enjoying. I don't. I don't even really want to play this matchup. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Let's go. To, let's go to the next one. Play a good deck. Well, I want to try these new cards. I don't know. You might be right. Maybe this deck is just bad. All right. If the style is playing Hogak 2, I'm off. I'm off this deck. Sure, it's a playable hand. Hands a little little bit clunky for the Delver matchup. Hey, thanks for the uh the raid, Nathan. Court might need its own deck. I could see that. Like thin out the hand here. A little bit too expensive. I don't really want the force. Course court seems like a worse chase than mind sculptor. Well, I think it's not that bad. Maybe the card that I'm supposed to be testing is Hall Breacher. We'll see if they overextend. Ponder, okay. Yep, digs up. Mm. The brainstorm's not bad. Yeah, we have replenish in the deck, so that's why we're playing wacko cards like cast out. Are there cheaper enchantments that we could play? For value? Again, I'm just mesmerized by the idea of like bent enchantments, but I don't know how to build that kind of deck. Oh, that's so sick. Uh, oh, no, 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 it's a different list, yeah. Sure. Down to seven. Boom. Okay.
Hmm. It's pretty good for us. That's very good for us. Okay. Dread Horde, sure, and then Delver. Oh, Hooting Mandrels? Interesting. So the Bolt didn't go to face, which I am reasonably grateful for. Fluff. Oh, am I dumb? I am dumb. Shark Typhoon, Force of Will I think is good. We can just cycle this. <clears throat> Yikes. Oh, is this the young pyromancer list? Hmm. Why do we not astrolabe here? Um, because... I'm going to cycle the lay claim. Oh, yeah, we could just hard cast that too. I forgot. No, and ponder, no shuffle. Hmm. That's also good. One, two, three, four. So that bolt were dead anyways, so I'm not gonna stress it. Oh shit, my camera died. Fuck. Hey, A Wall, thank you for the follow. It's kind of impressive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Seems reasonable. No, this is pre-board. Oh, nice. Cool. Okay, good to know. Maybe I don't want the Dovin. Did I board in the Dovin's Vetoes? No, I didn't, right? What else goes? Court of Cunning doesn't actually seem very good in this matchup. They're also playing super aggressively with their creatures, so hopefully with the six sweepers we can punish them pretty badly. It's more than six, right? Like, that seems really convincing to me. Fuck it. Wait, no, but then what do we do about Oko? I guess we have those. 
block with a 3-3 and then plow, but then they would have had the thing left over, right? They would have had Delver left over. I guess we could still handle that. It would give us life to play with. The problem is that fetching would still put us down to three and we'd still be in trouble. Um, I don't know if standstill is good or not. It should be good. Fuck it. We'll just cut these because I'm prepared to int. No, the quarter cuttings aren't good. Which seems so cringe. Like, why are we testing this card for cutting it against Delver? Okay. Well, in this list, I guess it doesn't really make sense. Okay, this is fine. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh my god, they've got fucking basics in their deck. <sighs> that makes me a little bit upset. Court seems strictly for control mirrors. Uh, I don't know. I played Palace Jailer in the main deck before. Daniel won a Grand Prix, I think, with Palace Jailer in the main deck too, right? This does not seem to cut it. If the Mystic Sanctuary was another land. I'm pretty sure it's playable. The question is less so about that and more so about what are the surrounding cards to make it work. I'm pretty convinced it can work. Court of Cunning is not Palace Jailer. No, but the concept is more so that you can preserve your monarchy, right? You have to build your deck around it. What I, what I mean to say is, is like, yes, I like, look, I know all the reasons why it doesn't make sense, right? I'm not like, yes, I, I'm very aware. It's more, more about despite everybody thinking that, okay, this card is shit, like trying it out and trying to find something that works. You know what I mean? That's how you find shit like Brightling. Ooh, okay. That's a good one. Although I guess that's not a very convincing argument. But Brightling was really fucking good against Grixis Delver back when they had Death Right and Young Pyromancer. All right, good night, Nathan. Mm, I don't know. See, like, I I just don't know if I agree with that, though. The fuck is this? Hooting Agiles? Clothis. It's annoying. You're laughing your way to the bank, but literally, though, right? Uh, okay. I'm going to brainstorm a bolt here. Doesn't seem like optimal usage of the Pyromancer, but sure. I I don't know, like like okay, I no 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 no. Here's the thing: it's obvious. It can be obvious where Court is going to be good. Now the question is more so finding out whether or not it's good in the non-obvious places. Fuck is this? Rude. That's what it is. Mm. It's kind of a problem, right? I don't really get the feeling that Hullbreach isn't going to end up doing anything. Especially now that they know about it. Also very down on cards because of that force. So, well, did we mulligan this game? No, we didn't. Yeah, like Time Warp, right? I really want to play Time Warp. That card is fun. I guess you could try Temporal Mastery with like Oko and Uro and all that crap too. Yeah, this is this is really unfortunate. I do really like this deck list though. 
this this won the event today and uh i think adding the pyromancers is super sweet super smart too i don't know if that means you struggle against tarmogoyf depths is the deck that stifle makes the most sense in mm. Okay, that's really interesting. So I think they have like Lightning Bolt or another Pyroblast. Otherwise, why would you do this? Maybe Force of Will. My hand's not very good here, though. Wasteland. Okay. <sighs> that's pansy ass. Let's see, how do we fix this? Oh my god, are you serious? Oh shit, I was definitely supposed to block something here. I mean, I don't even think this is resolving though. Yeah, just force, okay. Hmm. We're in trouble. Don't block chain lightning. Oh, we have Breacher is good against the, the draw though for sure. All right, they get a land. How do you even resolve something like uh? Oh, wow, that was very, very poor. I should not have done that. Um, my bad. That was risky. If we didn't draw the land there, we would have been fucked. Oh, my camera died again. All right, I'm just going to turn this thing off. I think it's, like, overheating. Ah. <sighs> I might just scrap the, uh, how do we have so many cards in our, oh, we're getting milled. Oh, wow. Okay. I did not register that. Are both our mystic sanctuaries milled actually? Holy fuck. I'm so dumb. One. Two. We could draw like Court of Grace, maybe. Hmm. Not the draw. All right, I think I'm off this deck. This deck seems pretty fucking bad. With the. Uh, yeah. I think I'm off this deck. Jam the standstill, Pago. Yeah, I'm just off this one. I don't like it. Um, that was a quick speed run. All right. So that idea down the drain. Down the toilet. Properties. Bad. Maybe somebody else can break it. I mean, like, if we cut the Yorion and we go down to 60 cards, does it get any better? And I think the answer is no. Um, yeah. Nah, I don't, I don't even want to think about it too much. 
Mm -hmm. What is this? Standstill? This is a deck that could leverage... Um, Hull Breacher, I think. Hull Breacher and Standstill seems kind of cute. Maybe not good. Check Discord. Zur the Enchanter? Wait, why? When it attacks? Oh, ha. Ah. Oh, God. This makes me a little bit sad. Monka. This is probably still better than Jace, though. Um... I could try more miracles, but that doesn't really seem exciting to play right now. Well, good wit standstill. Then it just makes. Then you can like <laughs> convert your standstill into a black lotus if you want. Reminds you of S Dance of the Mance. Yeah, I could. I could see that. Wait, actually, what makes you say that though? Because I feel like if we. Well, I did. I was only playing three replenish, which may have been like a heinous crime. Um, also, yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm just not on it. I'm not about it. Not about it. I I think I agree with you. Just like low, low, low power pirate tribal. Uh oh. I don't know if we could say those those words here. What is this? Oh, this is the blue eye build. I think we're just gonna delete this one too. I don't really like it. Delete. I don't know if you guys knew this, but this really excited me. You can select multiple decks, and you can actually just delete a bunch of shit. Did you know? Did you know that? I have never tried that before until like I tried to cleanse my my thing. Play Chalice. Uh, eh. That's recent. Interesting. I could play something like this. Although I will, I would say here's what I would say: if I was ever gonna play Snow. And make some pretty drastic updates to the list. So, for example, I'm fine playing the Shark Typhoons. What I'm not okay with anymore, I don't like the Plague Engineers. Maybe we could like a Sylvan Library too. And then add something like Torpor Orb. I think this card is... I have a copy. Wow. I think this card is pretty fucking good. And then two more Dead of Winters. I think Dead of Winter is just better right now than Plague Engineer. I could be wrong about that. Like, maybe it's correct to still just do two and two, but Dead of Winter doesn't even... That is, sorry, Plague Engineer does not seem very good against DNT. It just doesn't seem very good at all. Although, maybe it's good enough if my Okos survive, like if I have Torpor Orb. It could just be like that, and then just cut those. You really think a Doomsday Yorian deck could be absurd? Hmm... That one's interesting. What I really did like was Strifo's suggestion of playing uh, World Gorger in this deck. That one seemed kind of cool. Although, I don't know if it's consistent. Is it consistent? No hull breaches? It should probably be there to some capacity. And I don't know if I want to go like control or not with this kind of deck. Like control with the combo finish, you know? You think it's Nars at five and six? Eh, I don't know. Seems a little bit better than that. I disagree. I think it's the other way around, Eli. I think Hull Breacher needs to be naturally good against decks for it to actually shine. Same thing with Narset, right? Like Narset, I think is only good when the passive actually has text. If the passive doesn't have text, then I don't think it's good. Like playing Hull Breacher to leverage it with the synergy of like Echo Vions means that you're just building a deck that's like weak to removal spells. I I, I don't think that's what I want. What I wanted to do, actually, oh, this is something that I wanted to do. I wanted to play not this deck. Shit, I lost that list. 
my other idea brew number two seagate okay the other thought process was to revisit this card i think this card and court of cunning could be nice together i don't know why but they just feel like i was trying to build an aether vial deck that had um like this but the problem is this was lacking a proper win condition and i kind of think that uh quarter cunning could be that somebody had me mentioned vision skeins before And if they try to remove it, then we, okay. Is that, but is that not just like too cute? You don't think? Like in what world does Hull Breacher not just like get forced or? Blue Red Stormcaller in a Tempo Shell with like Delver of Secrets? Um, do you remember when Mark Koenig Barra had that like Aether Vial blue deck with like Snapcasters? I think there's actually real design space, but I, I don't know where to find that list. Um, I don't know where to find that list. I'm also not sure what colors are. We don't need all of these, like maybe two. Like if I go Recruiter of the Guard... Then uh, maybe we don't need the spell seeker either, but then we get to play what I don't know. Swords to plow shares. Actually, that's not true. I probably don't want these. Ah, uh, no, that's not true. But, uh, I don't even know. Let's we'll we'll like let's just do it this way. Add some removal spells. Brainstorm. Yeah, maybe this does, deck doesn't want aether vial. Maybe instead just wants like. Arkham's Astrolabe. I've already lost the older list. Wait, did I? Do I have that deck? This was it, right? This was the old list. Like, what if I just got rid of this garbage? Some of this garbage here? And then, like, holy shit. Why do I have a 65 card sideboard? Hello? Anu? Is there something you want to tell me? What the fuck? Look at all these fucking ideas. Huh. I really am a fucking Timmy out, aren't I? I can't even see. Oh, yeah, here. There you go. There you go. You get to see everything. These are all the cards I was thinking about playing. Dak Faden. Oh, Lord. That's kind of embarrassing. Hide it, hide it, hide it, hide it, hide it, hide it all. You think Pokepile can play it? Yeah, by the way, Jeff, I do still have two copies of your Court of Cunnings. If you want them back, just trade me and I can ship them to you. Uh... Like, we don't need the fucking Jace. Oh, I guess the idea was to play Sylvan Library and Uro together. Sure. What was wrong with this deck? Could it just, like, not close? Do you guys remember? It doesn't have Oko in it. Um, it instead, it has... Why the fuck does this deck have Chase the Mind Sculptor in it? It should not be playing Chase the Mind Sculptor. Also, it's a 62 card deck. Definitely don't cut the Dax from the sideboard. Seems integral to the side strategy. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's kind of a cool thing, too, right? Like Hole Breacher and Dak Faden. It was labeled as Snoko. Was I? I don't think I was doing coverage for it. I don't think I was doing coverage for it. No, that no, not it wasn't me. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'm sure Jarvis would have like made a mention of that. Actually, fuck it. I don't even want to see this in my list of decks. Delete this shit. Um, this is when I say B snow, I'm gonna call it Bart snow because this is the list that Bart and I made together for that one event. Yeah, I, I noticed that um, transitioning from match to match, some of the details needed to be updated, and they were done live. 
I think the show is still very well made. Wub. Was this the list? What in the fuck? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, see. This is what I'm talking about. I needed a finisher, so I was like, okay, Thassa's Oracle. But now if we just play Court of Cunning and have, like, a bunch of removal spells and stack-based answers, like, then all I need to do is draw cards, right? That's the problem. All I want to do is draw cards. How do I fucking draw cards? So far, I think the, the only way to really do it is just, like... No, but, like, even, even Mark's deck doesn't draw cards very well. Um, yeah, I, I just don't think Mark's deck does it either. His deck is more on the mid-range plan, and I think I want to, like, deep dive into, like, old-school miracles, which is just, like, quad predict, go up on cards, and then fuck them up. Archmage Charm is a sweet card. I think that card is definitely impressed me. I think, um, my gut reaction was that it was a very mean card, and then... The more I saw it played and the more I actually played with it myself, I definitely understand how it's good. And that's how desperate I am for, like, a draw two effect, right? Uh, that's how desperate I've been for a draw two. Neheb also draws cards. Janky, please. An Esper Midrage type scheme that ran Monastery Mentors? Oh, that's something I didn't think about either. Or is this combo control? This deck could play Opposition Agent. What have, what have we learned so far, though, is that Opposition Agent does not do a good job against... Um, does this deck want Dark Ritual? Esper mid-range Doomsday. It's probably like Doomsday in the main deck combo, and then it boards into like three copies of like... Then it boards into multiple copies of like Teferis and Monastery Mentors or whatever. I, I think Marcus had a list that made top eight today in the challenge, but also thank you for the follow, Terra. Appreciate it. Has seemed medium. That's the card that I... Yeah, I think this card... I haven't played it yet, but this card seems like it might just be a little bit overhyped. I think it's good as like a one of side in the sideboard. That's about it. They have both in game two and three. Oh, interesting. Spectral Sailor, but why? And the thing is, is like if I play... this i think eric also had a list that was like didn't eric uh landon have like an entombed deck list that was kind of fair it had like leovolds and narsets and shit oh that's another thing that you could do coliseum hall breacher and uh life from the loam oh and you could do this all at instant speed wait that might just be better like we don't necessarily need to go into black anymore what if I just went like huh, crop rotation instead? And then you get to play like Seagate Stormcaller and you're in better colors. Uh, you get to play like Uro and shit. The Ninja Package and play one Narc Amoeba? Wait, what do you mean the ninja package? I mean, the Narc Amoeba seems kind of cool. Getting a warm body into play, but then I don't know what I would do with it. And Dark Depths plus Stage? Well, hopefully this would just end the game, but... I guess that's just not powerful enough, right? Like, I just don't feel like I can get away without playing this card. How do you... How do you people play... Oh, because you, you kill your opponent, so then their cards don't matter. Okay, all right. Yeah, I, I don't know how to do that. Throw in, into one big Yorion pile. What's that? Like, no, I'm pretty sure. Didn't uh, Caleb make some sort of, like, bastardized Battle of Wits deck? That shit sounds fucking crazy. And Tomb can force the Echo Orc can be for Narcomy, but to Ninjutsu. Okay. 
Is Cavern worth playing? I do like the idea of Cavern of Souls with Hull Breacher. That sounds very strong. Caleb's is just a giant bug lands deck. Yikes. Okay, well, now I'm off it. See, that's the other thing too, right? I don't even know if I would play Stage Depths in this kind of deck because it just it doesn't seem very good. I could see like playing like Caracas. I could see like playing Bajuka Bog, but fuck. Okay, never mind. I guess I'm off this. This just sounds cooler too. Entombs and the uh, Echo of Eons. And add Hull Breacher and Echo in the Replenish deck. Oh, I didn't know that. Normie has... Okay. Wait, what is Quicksand? Then it's so hard to build the deck in Legacy. Interesting. Wait, what is this? Why can I not... Oh, because... Wait, what? Okay. Sack it, target creature without flying. Um, eh? What? Why do we want this? I am admittedly very confused. Pog, Dust Bowl. These two cards don't go very well together. Although Seagate and Cabal Therapy are kind of nuts together. Something to think about. All right. Uh, I said this was going to be a short stream, and I think I'm already half an hour over what I wanted to do. So I'm going to find someone to raid here because I got some other shit to take care of tonight, uh, like work, work, work. So I'm going to send you guys over to Mangu. I'll be back tomorrow. You guys know the drill already. I think tomorrow I'm going to try and get a 3090, meet someone nearby and buy it from them. But I know it's like expensive and not really worth the bang for the buck, but... Uh, I'm going to probably just do it anyways. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm Team CFB and Team Lotus Box. I asked Gabby if that was okay, and she said that so long as Team Lotus Box doesn't sell cards and shit, like, it's fine. So, I don't know. Cool. All right, ship it. See y'all later.